We are. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I had one question, but I think it's two now. Unfortunately, we still only have one answer. Yes. I was pondering this question this morning, walking out of a little bakery, and I had a handful of goods and then another handful of goods, and I was Notice they didn't call them bads. Yeah. (laughs) Yet. (laughs) And I was pondering the question of, what is the most gravitationally powerful question I could be asking myself throughout the entire day? What do I want? What rings my bells? What could I focus on, observe or remember or imagine that would feel the best to me right now? And that's really not what's the biggest best that anyone ever thought or that I've ever thought. Just what's my best use of my moment in time right now? How can I best utilize my point of attraction right now? How can I focus? And sometimes it's just chill. Sometimes it's just stop and breathe a little. Sometimes it's get hold of a tail of something that you already know you want. But it's about massaging into place your connection with your inner being. We call it calibration. So now let's advance the question. How can I best calibrate in any moment? Well, why would you want to calibrate? Because you are a vibrational being and what you calibrate to has momentum and momentum always produces results. So the question is, what do I want to manifest in my experience? See how the question is evolving? What do I want to manifest in my experience? Well, I want good feeling things to manifest. I want uplifting things to manifest. I want things that benefit me to manifest. I want things that benefit others. So in the sphere, in the places and things and people where I'm standing right now, how can I get the most bang for my buck right now? And sometimes it's chill. Sometimes it's think about what you're thinking about. It doesn't matter what it is. All that matters is that you want to feel good and that you have access to endless things that do. And the thing that happens next is what matters more now. Once that thought comes, what do you do with it? How did it feel? Did it feel better or worse than where you just were? If it felt worse, look again. If it felt better, stay focused on it. Then the law of attraction will bring you something else. Only one thing to do. How do I feel now? Do I feel better or worse? Am I clearer or more confused? Am I more eager? You just feel your way. You see, your inner being knows where you are in relationship to everything that you want. And when you make an open statement like that, what could I do? What's the best thing for me to do? What you're saying is, how can I hook up with you in the most powerful way? Because your inner being knows where you are. Your inner being will encourage you. And if you're in that allowing state, your inner being will, you'll look over there and you'll see something that'll make you think of something. Or a thought will just download into your mind. Just trust that it's coming. You got to know that your inner being exists and that you got to know that your inner being is right there with you right now. And you've got to know that your inner being is feeding you answers. You've just got to be in the receptive mode, you see. So what do I want? I want to be in the receptive mode. I want to feel good. I want to be in the receptive mode. I want to be tuned in, tapped in, turned on. If you were to ask Esther that, Her answer is fun, fun. She was walking to the airport the other day. She just had gotten to San Antonio and she was in a terminal that she's usually not in. She's been there before, but wasn't quite as familiar. And someone's painted or put a decal on the floor, big footprints that are leading somewhere. And they were leading in the direction of where Esther was going. And Esther thought, hmm. And for some reason, it just seemed to her that when she got near one of those, she should step right on it make her foot fit it in other words she wasn't walking around it or past it she stepped on it and she laughed and she thought I've lost it (laughs) maybe my quest for fun has gone too far and then she saw a little boy walking toward her and he was doing the same thing and they came sort of nose to nose and there were two footprints and the footprints were facing the way Esther was going And they just stopped and looked at each other. And Esther just moved over and he just moved over and off they both went. (laughs) 
a partner in crime, a partner in fun, somebody else. Isn't it interesting that the law of attraction would bring her right to somebody else that was doing exactly the same thing that she was doing? In other words, can it get more fun than that? It wasn't really that interesting to step on the footprints. She didn't even know where she got the idea. It just seemed like a good idea. Maybe she got it from that little boy. Maybe that little boy got it from her. Maybe both of them got it from the same place. Maybe that's co-creation at its best. And it's out there for you all day, every day. Things just that unimportant and that delicious. Yeah. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next